Wild Arms, Twilight Venom is a Japanese animated television series based on the Wild Arms series of video games. The series was animated by B Train, and directed by Itsuro Kawasaki and Koichi Mishimo. Twilight Venom aired on WOWOW from October 18, 1999, to March 27, 2000, totaling 22 episodes. Topic. Plot Dr. Keel Aronix, Mirabelle and Loretta encounter a ten-year-old boy during their escape from prison. He turns out to be the former famous gunslinger Cheyenne Rainstorm and is equipped with a famous and mysterious arms weapon. The series follows Cheyenne and Keel as they search for the mystery of Cheyenne's missing body. Topic. Characters Cheyenne Rainstorm, a famous gunslinger with the ability to use the mysterious arms weapons. He was rumored to have been a reincarnation from the evil race due to his birthmark on his back and his ability to remain unharmed when using the arms. Three years before the series start, he was mysteriously shot and his brain transplanted into the body of a ten-year-old. His original body was moved somewhere else, and Cheyenne spends the entire series looking for it. As an adult, Cheyenne was a vain playboy who easily attracted the attention of women due to his handsome visage. After being reborn, he constantly laments the loss of such attention throughout the series. He travels mainly with Keel and Isaac, but frequently meets the female thieves by accident. He and Loretta often butt heads. Voiced by, Mayumi Asano Japanese, Brian Siddal English. Dr. Keel Aronix, a scientist who had been imprisoned and tortured at Alcatraz. He eventually escapes due to the distraction of Loretta's group infiltrating the prison, and leads them to the treasure, which turns out to be a sleeping Cheyenne. Afterwards, he goes along to help Cheyenne find his body. Unlike the common scientist stereotype, Keel has the build of a brawler, and the skills to beat down his opponents. While Keel does serve as the moral compass and the occasional father figure to the chagrin of Cheyenne, who's commonly mistaken as his son in the group, Keel also has his fair share of secrets, the biggest of which involves Cheyenne. Voiced by, Junpei Morita Japanese, Jameson Price English. Loretta Oratorio, a thief and crest sorceress, she spends her time with Mirabelle and Jerusha stealing from the rich and treasure hunting. To her chagrin, they frequently run into Cheyenne's group and as a result, often lose the treasure. So much so that both Loretta and Mirabelle dubbed Cheyenne as the God of Poverty, and resolve to run away the next time they see him. Loretta is aware of her own beauty, and one of her most common ploys is to use her body to distract unwary victims before robbing them. She is not without skills, however, as shown in Episode 9, The Slave of the Game, where she becomes the top female grappler. She is a proficient crest sorceress, but is limited by her obsession with the monetary value of the crest. As a thief and treasure hunter, Loretta is prone to doing nearly anything to get to the valuables, up to and including pretending to be a long-lost heiress and joining an all-female robbery gang. However, she has shown to adhere to a moral code when it comes to obtaining crests, and is visibly outraged when someone has broken it. Voiced by, Fumiko Asaka, Japanese, Wendy Lee, English. Mirabelle Graceland, one of a vampire-like race, the Crimson Nobles, she and Loretta make their living stealing and treasure hunting. She seems to have a slight crush on Cheyenne, though that might be because she and every other Crimson Noble finds his blood incredibly delicious. Crimson Nobles have the ability to transform into strange bat-like creatures, and Mirabelle often transforms easily between the two forms, though others have remarked on her slow flying. Voiced by, Nariko Fujieda, Japanese, Julie Madalena, English. Jerusha, a 5,000-year-old Popepi Popepo, she assists Loretta and Mirabelle during their travels. Jerusha has been married five or six times, one of which is to Isaac. 
The two argue whenever they meet and Jerusha often flouts Isaac's tentative moves to rekindle their relationship. Despite the antagonism, however, Jerusha does harbor similar feelings towards Isaac, whom she calls Asaku, to his annoyance. Voiced by Rikako Aikawa, Japanese, Philly C. Sampler, English. Isaac, a 5,000 year old Popepi Popepo, he assists Cheyenne and Keel during his travels. He first appears in a cage at a market stall, though it's later revealed that the shop is actually his and the shopkeeper his apprentice. Due to the low numbers of Popepi Popepo, he becomes interested when Cheyenne mentions meeting a female Pope Popepo and decides to leave with them in hopes in meeting her. To his dismay, it's his ex-wife, Jerusha. Despite actions to the contrary, Isaac still has feelings for Jerusha, remarking that being married was the happiest time of his life. Voiced by, Mitsuo Iwata, Japanese, Stephen Blum, English. Topic. Episodes Sleeping Dirty Arms Crazy Desert Dragon Fantasy The Faluna Bible Portrait of Lana Affair of the Fargaia Express Someday My Robber Will Come Mouth Wide Shut The Slave of the Game Guilty or no home, no body. Lie, Layla, lie. Lullaby of the noble red. Interview with the empire. Natural born angel. Fatal goddess. Child at heart. The days of the Bacchus. Gone with the smoke. Faluna struck. Once upon a time in Fargaia. The last of Cheyenne. Topic. Relation to the Wild Arms game series Twilight Venom has various crossovers with the second installment of the Wild Arms series. Models of Liz and Ard are visible inside a monster museum in episode 11. No home, no body. Judeka makes an appearance in episode 15 a character with the likeness of Zed from the first Wild Arms also appears, canon from Wild Arms 2 in episode 17. Irving Vold Valeria Wild Arms 2 and the Guardian Lucid multiple games appear in episode 16, but unlike all other cameos, appear in future episodes and have a connection to the storyline. External links Wild Arms, Twilight Venom anime at Anime News Network's Encyclopedia Wild Arms, Twilight Venom on IMDb Wild Arms, Twilight Venom at TV.com